Hi, and welcome to the first video from kidsteachyou.com. Today, what we're going to teach you how to do is go to gmail.com. Um, that's mail from Google. It's free, and it will allow you to get email from different people on the internet. This is kind of a quick sign up thing. So, once you get your username and password, you would go, you just type them in here at gmail.com. Notice sign up for Gmail. That's what we're going to do today. So, to going to do is drag it kind of down right here so that we can see what's going on as you can see we're going to be creating a new account um, Google allows us to get started so we'll start with our first name uh, it's gonna be kids teach you and let's go kids teach you that's pretty basic at gmail.com so I'm gonna check my availability doesn't look like it works so um, let's try kids teach you too. check availability look at that it's available so for choosing a password you want to choose kind of a long password with numbers and letters and uh, it has to be as you can see here a minimum of eight characters in length and that'll allow you to have a difficult enough password that other people can't break into your account so you're also gonna pick a security question mine's just kinda gonna be fake for this one so first phone number five 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 one two one two as you all know that's the phone number that's used in the movies so my location is obviously in the United States I don't have a secondary email at this point point. Um, and you notice this thing a word verification so below there's in those blue letters are you can see they're all mixed up um, what you have to do is figure out what those letters are so it looks like T I C A P S N E um, that allows us to Google to know that you're human and not a robot that's just signing up for these emails and spamming people with them. So you would look at the terms of service. These terms of service are pretty basic. Um, Google's really good about having good terms of service. So I'm going to accept and create my account. So then it took just a minute and now what you can do is come over here where it says I'm ready show me my account. So once you click there what it'll do is it'll load your account it looked like it loaded pretty quick so you notice that we already have an email from the Gmail team here um, Gmail is different here's what you need to know so if you clicked on that you can actually read this entire email and um, see kinda all that stuff so the only thing only other thing I'm gonna teach you today is how to compose and reply to an email so here I'm gonna send an email to myself kids teach you to at gmail.com if you want to know how to make that kind of funky at symbol it's the shift key and the number two You'll notice the at is above that so if you hold down shift and press number two that gives you the at key subject is hello and I'm just gonna write something basic hi there so then if you see we can scroll down the page and it looks like right there you notice that send button press send and you'll notice that right there in my inbox I get a new one hello hi there if you click there's the email and I can just press reply at any time and right there I can say nice to meet you this would be an easy way to go back and forth um, with your kids your grandkids um, maybe your parents whoever so right here kind of the fun thing is you see how both messages are shown right next to each other if we actually go back to our inbox you'll see it's me it has the number two that means there's two messages associated with this email so once I click there I can see the first one there second one here and nice to meet you that was the reply to the first one that I sent so normally this would be you and someone else going back and forth with separate emails but in this case it's just us um, in future episodes we will teach you about how to do stars, chats, sending mails, drafts, um, how to look at your spam, trash, and kind of what it means by contacts, and then how to archive different things, so, and doing labeling, and there's kind of a bunch of other stuff in here, but for now, that could, should get you going, and all you have to do is give out the, in our case, it would be kids teach you to at gmail.com, um, just in case you get confused right up here on the top right you'll notice kids teach you to at gmail.com it always reminds you of what your email is so best of luck and I hope you guys are having a great time